In today's video, we have the very simple mission of creating the most powerful tank in existence and that we can kill every enemy in mere seconds. But before we can actually do that, we firstly have to start the game by being shot in a draw pod, exploding and falling to our doom. Anyway, say hello to our little tank. Right now it is small and defenseless, but that will quickly change, because I will kill this poor guy. And by doing so, we have obtained his parts, which we shall of course use to make a peepee hehe. <laughs> <clears throat> As I was saying, I shall begin my conquest of these vast lands by doing our first mandatory missions, which will have us running around the whole map in order to obtain the solar panel together with a repair bubble, which can repair my tank together with my brave. <clears throat> yes, the repair bubble will allow us to take on stronger enemies, which will give me more parts to make the great pee tank. <laughs> but we are still missing one very important part. The battery. I'll tell you why in just a moment. I did, I, I just got it. <laughs> yes, the battery. It will allow us to activate the repair bubble on the go. And it will stop me from getting um, even more irreversible brain damage. Anyway, with the battery obtained, we have finished the mandatory mission, and consequently we have obtained a special crate which will bestow us with more blocks, actual decent wheels, and more guns. <laughs> die, yes! Die, you peasants! <laughs> Grow! Yes! Grow, Pippi Tower! Grow! Okay, as you can see, we're already quite formidable, but currently our weakness is in our inability to turn 90 degrees. So, we have to obtain some better wheels, and for that, we need to find the trading station. Because it will allow us to it. Wait, what? Well, that was easy. <laughs> yes, as I was saying, the trading station. It will allow us to sell and buy items, and as well, take on missions which will reward us with more XP, money, and parts. And hopefully, I can obtain some better wheels in guns. <laughs> so, say hello to my friend, Big Peter. In this mission, he will provide me with a Geocorp license, in exchange for some tree logs. And boom, we have now gotten- Wait, what? Bro, it's only one wheel. That, 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 that won't do anything. In that case, I'll continue decimating everything in my path in hopes of getting some wheels. <laughs> yes, oh my god, finally. I can move around without falling over like my neighbor's grandma down the stairs. <laughs> now that that is settled, we need more firepower. Because these puny shooters literally deal almost no damage. And if I face an opponent which might actually have more than two brain cells, I will die almost instantaneously. So, I shall start killing a ton of these bastards in order to obtain more of their parts and experience. Yeah, yeah. Come, on, come on, kill! Kill him! Yes, they are no dead. So now, we can do this. Because we will completely rebuild our tank from the ground up. Yes, the PP tank is magnificent! Like, just look at this. They stand no chance of defeating me. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is still not enough. We need more power. So, I shall take on the mission of attacking an impenetrable fortress with four mounted miniguns. Now, you might think I stand no chance. And you'd be absolutely right. But by the grace of the great PP Tower gods, we will take our chances to ambush the base leader and hopefully take it as our own. Well, I'll be damned. I didn't actually think it would work. Yes, oh my god, we now have four extremely powerful miniguns to our name. But not just that, but also the Geocorp battery, which is equal to eight normal batteries. And as well, the shield cells. Which, if it wasn't obvious, make a shield around my tank. And how could I forget the most important block in the whole game. One that will make our lives 100 times easier. 
the black hole. In simple words, it sucks up parts and puts it into our inventory, which we are able to access at any time we please. Anyway, by doing all of the missions, we have also obtained some money. So I shall buy myself a few guns and equip them. Yeah, yeah. Yes, taste the wrath of my almighty guns, you fool! <laughs> Um, okay, you know what? Fuck this. I, I, I can't take it anymore. I fall over literally every 10 seconds. So I'm sadly going to get rid of the peepee -pee thing. And focus on something that's a bit more stable. Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, I have made it longer. So I think that um, we will be able to move around normally now and finally take on enemies without falling on our heads. Where the... But just to be safe, I'm going to give it even more wheels for optimal stability. Anywho, I think that we are in quite a good standing now. We got some good weapons and our bubbles protect us from the enemy. Wait, what? Okay, I think I just barely made it out alive. But yeah, as I was saying, now that I have come to this level, I want to test my abilities on a formidable foe. And I might have actually found a perfect candidate. The almighty cube. Hello you puny mortal. You wish to taste the strength of the almighty cube with those puny guns. You won't be able to destroy it in a million years. <laughs> well, that was easy. No! What have you done? Get him minions! <laughs> well, it seems that, that coward has left the scene of battle. At least I completed the mission and gained it. Hmm, I think I actually got an idea. Oh my god, this is amazing! <laughs> I got two times faster now! Alright then, I will give myself some more batteries and obtain a bomb catapult. Yeah, yeah. So let us test it out on his buffoon. Right, is that another wind turbine? <laughs> okay, you know what? I want to test out just how fast I got. So, I'll do this mission where I have to drive around the hill as fast as possible. Yes, go little one. Go make your country proud. <laughs> yes. That was actually quite fast. But you know what? We can go even faster. So, I'll put on a jet engine. <coughs> well, in that case, I'll just put the jet engine on its back and get rid of one of the propeller thingies. Because, well... <laughs> Yeah. But look at this, our tank is starting to look quite formidable. And it kills almost everything in mere seconds. But it is still not enough. Like, just look at this. I'm doing the second cube thingy and I'm generally struggling. Like, it took me three attempts and an addition of a lot more guns to actually defeat it. So we should quickly recharge our tank's batteries and take on the most formidable opponent up until now. Wing Nut. This bastard is holding up a bridge over a big ravine, and he's requesting payment for people to cross it. And I'm actually not interested in avenging them, but I'm interested in the immensely powerful artillery that he possesses. So, I'll just kindly ask him to hand it over. Wait, what? I actually managed to kill him. <laughs> Oh my god, just look at this amazing artillery! It's breathtaking! It kills everything with only one shot! <laughs> but, if we truly want to test its capabilities, we shall take on the almighty cube for a first time. Oh, you came here again, you fool! Well, this time, you stand absolutely no chance! Yeah, 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 it well, shit, it seems he was right. But, you know what that means. Yes, more guns! Yes, a very puny cube! You shall feel my wrath! <laughs> Wait! No! <laughs> Not for the third time! Well, I think it is time for you to finally say goodbye to your life privileges. Anyway, I think that we have now achieved our goal. We kill every tank in our path, big or small, with only one shot. 